The TARDIS has crashed on a derelict spaceship full of weeping angels, terrifying creatures that can only be stopped by staring at them. But if you dare to stop looking, if you even blink, they'll send you out of time and feed on that energy. Will the Doctor and companions be able to get all the pieces to repair the TARDIS in time? Or will the Weeping Angels succeed where so many adversaries have failed before? Doctor Who Don't Blink is a game for 2-5 to five players, where one player will control the terrifying Weeping Angels, and the other players will work together as the Doctor and companions, striving to repair the TARDIS so they can escape. The aim of the game for the heroes is to retrieve the parts scattered throughout the board, and return them to repair the broken TARDIS in the central square, allowing them to escape, and even travel through time to retrieve any comrades lost during the game. The player acting as the Weeping Angels immediately wins if they manage to capture all of the heroes and steal their lifetimes. First, therefore, it's important to choose your teams, angels, or heroes. Next, it's time to set up the board and cards ready to play. For easy step-by-step -step instructions and a handy diagram, turn to page 4 and 5 in the rulebook. Once your board is set up and your cards distributed accordingly, gameplay begins. Each round consists of five phases, starting with the player for the Weeping Angels. Phase 1. Choose Angels phase. The player controlling the terrifying Weeping Angels will secretly decide which of the Angel standees on the board are alive, and which ones are harmless statues. Here, Angels 2, 3, 7 and 8 are chosen. Phase 2. Hero Move phase. The players acting as the Doctor and Companions will, one at a time, move their characters up to six spaces, and leave them facing in either a vertical or horizontal direction, as line of sight is very important. A hero can drag an angel they pass and attempt to freeze them with another angel's glance. Phase 3. Hero Card Phase. The heroes will discuss which blink cards to allocate, bearing in mind there are limited don't blink cards and these are removed at the end of the turn if revealed, and the heroes do not yet know which angels are deadly and which are harmless. Phase 4. Angel Phase First, the angels reveal their cards, showing which are indeed weeping angels. These then have four action points between them. 1. They can spend them to move 9 spaces. 2. Catch the attention of a hero within the same room. If they're outside of that target's line of sight, the hero must then rotate to face the angel. And or 3 capture an adjacent hero. If two angels are aligned when they're revealed, they become and remain frozen. Phase 5. Clean up. Heroes retrieve blink and unrevealed blink cards, discarding others from the game entirely, gradually reducing the number of cards available to our heroes. You can increase the game's difficulty by reducing the number of cards the heroes start with. If a hero has used their special blink cards with unique effects, they're passed to the angel player who can then use them against the heroes on their next turn. The rounds continue until either the heroes have retrieved all of the TARDIS parts, allowing a fast repair and rescue mission, or the Weeping Angels have successfully captured all of the heroes, stealing their lifetime energy and sending them out of time. And that's a quick run through of how to play the new Doctor Who Don't Blink. Make sure to subscribe down below to stay updated on all the newest Doctor Who content. And remember, whatever you do, don't blink.